and welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Murray Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about tractioning the back line of the body. All right, so here we have Jennifer set up on the reformer. And so what I wanna show you uh, is a technique to help open up the whole back line of the body, the whole dura of the spine from the pelvis through the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine, and into the head. So this is really simple. What I have underneath her is a balanced body wedge that fits into the reformer, and it also has that vinyl on it, so it's a little bit slidey, and that's exactly what we want with this blanket on top. Now, that being said, if you don't have one of these wedges, you can use any of the wedges that you have. You can do this on the Cadillac, but it's a really nice way to prime the body to get it ready to maybe do something like feet and straps or hands and straps. This is very, very important to find space in the back line of the body so it's easier to have your clients root into the grounding forces of the back of the sacrum, the back of the heart, and the back of the head. Uh, this, is, this tactile sensation of elongation and space is very hard to cue on your own. But when you have this little bit of traction, that little bit of grab from the blanket underneath your client, it gives them a new sensation, a new awareness around how they can really organize in space. So what I'm gonna do is be very careful and I'm gonna step into the reformer, watch out for the straps, and I'm taking the blanket here. And the cue for your client is to just be nice and relaxed and heavy on the reformer. Now, as a safety precaution, I'm putting my foot on the headrest and to secure this wedge, because we don't want, well, we have the shoulder rest, but in general, you don't want the wedge going anywhere or the carriage to go anywhere. So I take the blanket in my hands, Jen just relaxes, and I start to gently and solidly pull her whole tissue, and it goes from pelvis to mid-back. She gets that nice elongation, ooh, even better, and then I gently set her down. I tell her to breathe into her back line, and from here, I can absolutely just give her the straps, and she's already set and ready to go. Now, when they start pushing into the straps, it might kind of shorten that back line a bit. A lot of your clients that lose that T8 connection have a very tight reactive psoas. So again, as she's moving, I can feel free, and of course we'll have to watch the space here, but I can pull that blanket at any move, a moment, giving her more and more availability of the back line of the tissue so that her shoulder girdle can very easily assimilate in space. That's all for today. If you have any observations or questions that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. Thanks so much for watching and never stop learning.